day. Let's kind of break things down for you. This was the, the playoff when he had a fabulous shot. This is the dreaded 17th at uh, Quail Hollow. This is today. 10th tee and the 9th. Now we're going to break down the swings from yesteryear. That's 210 on the left. Now this is what Rick is really working on. This first position. Look at the old swing. See how, see how steep the shoulder plane is there. That is and how he's trying to get more rounded. He's trying to turn himself around the corner. And that's going to get the club. See how we love the club to go through your glove. And then look at the plane difference of those sharps to the top of the swing. So, and this is the big difference. Stop it there. Look at the dip. So he's starting to get way more on plane where the other one is frightening. I mean, to, considering how he was just all talent. He was just great hands and timing. Now he's trying to get it way more consistent. He hasn't quite got the leg action because there's a lot going on. He's got to get his body to rotate rotate more, he's got to get his forearms to rotate for more, and then when he gets that all right, you'll be able to add the leg action to it. So this is a, comparing a couple of iron shots, so here's 2012, see where the club is, a good foot outside the hands, it's a much deeper fit, but more important is to change the direction, look how it drops, loses the plane, so he's looking for consistency so he can drop that shaft onto the golf ball way more consistently, rather than it dropping underneath and relying.